silent this weekend for two minutes to remember the service and sacrifice of all those that have died in world wars and other conflicts. Yes, and now a special monument is set to be built which would become Scotland's first national memorial, recognising the sacrifice made by the British Indian Army. Journalist Tazim Nazim headed to Glasgow to find out more. At the Kelvin Grove Museum in Glasgow hangs this painting of Abdul Ghani. Abdul is one of over four million Hindu, Muslim and Sikh soldiers who fought alongside British troops during World War I and World War II. Early next year, building will start on a special war memorial to remember their service, sacrifice and connection to Scotland. During the Second World War, soldiers from Force K6, a specialist animal transport infantry, was rescued from Dunkirk and transferred to Scotland. 14 of these men died whilst training here and nine are buried at Kinoosu Cemetery near their old camp in the Cairngorms. Gaynor Craig's mother Isabel tended the graves for many years. She would come out here and tidy them up. She did this consistently right up until about 10 years ago. And why do you think your mum cared so much? She had a, a brother who was shot down and he is a grave over in Belgium. She wanted the families in India and Pakistan to know that there was somebody looking after their son's graves. In 2018, Isabel was awarded a British Empire Medal. She's now 100 years old. They gave up their lives to come over and help us. And it's only right that we look after them, which I always now call my boys. Tahira Ahmed is looking forward to the memorial honouring her grandfather, who fought in the British Indian Army in Burma. This is my granddad. Um, he was in the Royal Indian Army. On a trip to Pakistan, Tahira discovered her grandfather's war documents. I found that particular letter that was oh, wow. sent to the London yeah. Gazette. Yes, it's lovely to have a look. So uh, he has always shown not only great technical abilities, but also coolness and a total disregard for his own personal safety. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's my family's treasure. Charanjit's father was awarded the Victoria Cross for his bravery on the battlefield. He'll also be remembered on the new memorial. So my, my dad, who was a section commander, he goes, I will go forward with my section. They start attacking them. My dad was the only survivor. He destroyed the anti-tank gun single-handedly. I asked him when he, I was a little kid, I said, Dad, how were you uh, awarded Victoria Cross? He goes, yeah, there was a death standing in front of me. So I said, death, either you or me. Given the, the legacy that your father had, how do you feel about the memorial being built in I th Glasgow? I think it's about time. When people will go, when they will see that memorial there, our kids will feel proud. This is really a momentous occasion for us on the journey of making Scotland's first national memorial for the British Indian Army. The team behind the new memorial is Colourful Heritage. Omar Sheikh is the founder. We see this memorial as a crucial and important part of educating uh, all of society, and particularly our youth, on the role of the British Indian Army. And what's the design going to be like of this national memorial? The design has been put together to uh, reflect a Chathri, traditional South Asian uh, design. Each one of these pillars will have the faith symbols of the Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs and Christians who fought. Today, Omar has invited families, including Charanjit and Gainal, to see where the memorial will be and place a brick which will feature in the finished monument. It reads, remember, commemorate, educate. It's a poignant moment of reflection. I would like to pass on Mum's good wishes and what she said to me, all these young boys who were killed, wouldn't they be proud of what was happening here today? Oh, that was lovely, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very much. Um, the